In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Warfighter Photoshop action to create an intense action scene with smoke and fire around our subject. This is the image that the Warfighter Photoshop action produces. This is our original image. And this is our brush layer. The action uses this layer, which is basically an empty layer on which we mark our subject using a small brush, a round brush, the default one from Photoshop. And everything we mark in this empty brush layer is used by the action to generate the elements as you can see the action creates multiple layers not all of them are visible right now there may be more than you actually need but this will provide you more customization options so basically there are multiple particle layers smoke layers behind and in front of our subject there are multiple color options available so you can change how your image will look there are some smoke layers which could provide you with more effects maybe rays of light maybe you could want an effect like this and everything is created by the action in a few steps so in order to use the action we will have to load the brushes that the action requires and of course the action so first let's load the brushes from the brush tool which is selected I'm going to load some Photoshop brushes uh, the Warfighter brushes okay and now I will load the action from the actions panel load actions uh, warfighter action okay in this folder an actions folder there are two actions a slower and a faster one the fast action will be very fast but it would it will uh, not allow you to customize the position of the elements because uh, the smoke elements will be cut by the margins of your document the slower action however uh, produces elements 
such as smoke and particles that uh, you can move wherever you want they won't be cut by the margins of your document so let's say we brushed our subject we have the background layer of the JPG file and the brush layer you can hide it or let it visible, it doesn't matter and I'm going to click on the Warfighter slow reaction what it will do it will create a new Warfighter folder such as this one it will create the folder over this one it will be on top so it will be visible and we'll have the elements that we need so the action is working this creating elements it is applying blending options and smart filters takes a bit longer the fast action uh, usually completes in a couple of seconds okay multiple layers okay and this is our brand new result so you see it is all stored in the Warfighter folder, all these layers. This is actually called a group of folders, a, g a group of uh, layers, sorry. So, our original image. This was the first effect that I showed you. And this is what the action created now. As you can see, the the overall look is very intense. So, in this group of layers, we have everything we need to get started. Probably the first thing you would like to do is move the layers as you want let's say the base smoke one which is uh -huh, okay this one going to the move tool with the layer selected and I'm dragging it to wherever I want or this one is more visible I can reposition it maybe the this one the black smoke which should be a layer called central dark smoke it's this one say we want to move it like this the top white smoke is uh, a layer which is hidden by default it creates a more intense look it is uh, another smoke layer can make it white or use the color filter to darken it maybe use some custom colors
as you can see the action has lots of possibilities the background color multiply filter allows you to add a custom color tint to your image maybe not purple for this tough soldier maybe something like this or white ok le let's keep it white so with white there is no change the background darkness control allows you to make your background image darker or whiter you might want to do this if of course your background image is too dark or too white if you have uh, an image over a completely white background you might want to set this on black to darken it a bit and show the smoke elements much better so in this our in our case I'll set it on a medium gray so this is the difference you also have some subject rays that you can make more or less visible or you might just use uh, different blending options not normal let's say soft light for uh, a touch of light there are lots of layers which you can reposition as you want the particle layers everything so basically this is what the action does and if you run the action again I'll run the fast action this time you will have a new result which is unique it won't be similar to the previous one all the elements will still follow the brush which you created, the brush layer but will be in a different position so this is how different the results can look and all starting from a simple image the simple image and the brush layer using the action will uh, save you hours or maybe even days of hard work and trial and error it will take a long time to create this effect 
now you can have it in a few minutes. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.